but the two Hume brothers, David and Paul, have been cleared of injury and they take their places. But no Derek Pike in the front row. Recent signing from New Zealand, Emosi Coloto, the big, good ball handling second row there, takes his place. Tate, Myler and a fire, I think, will be the danger men. They're the ones that Wigan will certainly have to watch. And just being presented now to the Mayor of Bolton, Councillor Allerton and Mr Hookman and Rayo in the witness chairman there. But Wigan certainly have enough stars of their own. They've got real danger men in Joe Lydon there at number four, Sean Edwards in the scrum half position, and the man, of course, who everyone has to watch, Ellery Hanley. And it'd be interesting to see how long Andy Gregory, that cheeky chappy there, sits on that substitute's bench. I don't think he'll keep it warm so very long. Settled his differences with coach Graham Lowe, asked for a transfer in midweek, withdrew it yesterday, and so brought back in the side. There's no Ian Lucas, there's no Nicky Kiss in the front row, and the two young under-21 internationals, Martin Dermott and Sean Wayne, take their places. And nice to see Andy Goodway, six weeks injured, coming back again via the substitutes bench. There's a theory in the game that if witness are brittle anywhere, it could be in the size of their pack. Oh, very calmly done by Tate. This lad bidding for a Great Britain spot this week since he came down from Kelso and Scotland will be union. You, Myla. Sorensen. Again, a player about whom there was some doubt earlier in the week. Boost shoulder tendons Edwards oh that's a good ball to drop down that's a better ball oh that's superb try Kevin Iro the gap was made for that Kevin Iro try by Sean Edwards a beautiful slip pass it put Byrne through the gap and when Jed Byrne didn't have the legs he had the intelligence the craft to turn the ball inside and there's not many people can stop this big 20 years old six foot Kevin Iro. Uh, what a start for Wigan but just watch Sean Edwards here he owes this pass to perfection what a beautiful ball to Jed Byrne looks as though Jed Byrne could score from here but he knows he's got support Kevin Iro, big man strong fast and does it well yes good try from this Kiwi Thirteenth try of the season. And Joe Lydon looking for his 34th goal. No, to the right. So just the one try. Wigan four with this no. Shelford. Oh, that's a bad one. Darren Wright. Now then, can he roll the left of the field? I think he will. Dean Bell. This is momentum carrying him over. I think it's a try. Yes. And I think a right decision by referee John Holdsworth. Darren Wright just didn't have the legs at the final analysis. But when Dean Bell tackled him, if you carried over the line with your momentum, it's a try. And certainly that was a bad pass from Adrian Shelford. But well, I watch, watch Adrian Shelford here. He'll not believe this in a minute because Darren Wright thinks, oh, God, is this mine? And he puts his head back and he goes for the line. Joe Lydon in up pursuit, but there's very little hope. Watch Dean Bell, he's flying here. His weight, how slippy the ground is, and his momentum takes him over. John Overts, dead right. I think, uh, I think Coach Doug Lawton will be praising all the 24 hours rain that we've had then, Alec. Well, we did say, Ray, that uh, that was going to be very important. So, what should be a comparatively easy kick for Andy Currier. And it is. 71st goal of the season for Currier. Witness then taking the lead, six points to four. In very scorable positions. This is the position where Wigan could uh, put it to good use. Edwards, Shelford, 
looking to make amends for that interception try. Yes, Mr. Holsworth spotted Kaloto. Well, I don't think there's much brotherly love there, though, is there? Yes, I don't think there's any doubt there what Mr. Holsworth's saying. You put a punch in, and I'm not having it well. He may have come from Rugby Union, he's only been in the game six weeks. But he certainly knows what to do with his hands. Chance for Leiden, and he takes it. So, Coloto pays heavily for that, six points each now to witness and win. Yes, and once again, playing it again. Witness not marking it to play the ball. And again, this man, Coloto, hitting out at a Wigan player. Very, very silly, because in discipline like this can only cost a game. I think Coloto was uh, a little bit peeved that first tackle there. He actually catches his own man, Grimmer. Now, just watch him here. He doesn't half let a pile driver go here. He's lucky to stay on the field, actually. Yes, he's a big lad, but he's got to learn the discipline in the game. I think he did take a knock himself because of the conditions underfoot. 45 yards, it looks a good one, though. It is. And that's two points for Wigan, and that's really how indiscipline should be punished. Eight points to six now for Wigan. I mean, there's no doubt about this, just watch it. He got the ball again here, now watch Ellery Hanley. He picks it up, now watch young Paul Hume. He comes in, he tackles him, and he's not happy with that. Another man comes in. And kicks like that one from Leiden, put your 40 yards back. Gregory, Shelford, had a good strong game this, uh, this number eight, he suffered with a rib cartilage turn in midweek, he's got stitches over his eye, it's Wigan prop, but he's still going. Betts. I think if any side is going to score there, it definitely looks like Wigan, they, they, they look more menacing every time they get the ball. And yet they can't break this witness line, can they? Gregory to Hanley, here's a chance! Yes, the perfect combination. Just as I said, they couldn't break the witness defence. It was a little jinking run by Andy Gregory. The perfect substitution gave Ellery Hanley the gap, and there was no stopping him. And delight on those Wigan faces. That could be the try. To what did you say, hey? You can't break the witness defence and just look what happens. Mr. Ellery, Mr. Magic himself, and that, I think, is the clincher. Certainly a typical Ellery Hanley try. He broke the record last week for the number of tries in Division 1 rugby. And here he is in Cup Rugby, and these tries, well, they're worth five or ten. And a difficult kick for this try by Ellery Hanley. No wonder the Western Suburbs Club in Australia are playing £3,000 a season, £3,000 a match for Hanley's services in the summer. And a difficult kick for Leiden there. Out right on the touchline. He's trying to get to plenty of loft in this ball. He does do, but he doesn't get the direction. So, ten minutes to go. Wigan, 12. With the six. And I don't think a fired action has received one pass in a running position. He's not had one running chance all the game, and uh, that has been the difference. Wigan have outplayed them, uh, they've outthought them, and certainly uh, they've been the better side. Well, there is the hooter, Sean Wayne looks delighted. Sean Edwards leaps in the air, 12 points to six for Wigan. Applause all round, I think, for a very hard game, not the most spectacular of rugby league matches. But very influential, those two men, Ellery Hanley and Adrian Shelford. And on that trophy, the only clean player in the game. Tremendous performance from Wigan and Hanley.
Wigan 12, witness 6 and a record fourth occasion. And I think that champagne will soon be open.